The EDL protests in Manchester last year saw violent clashes and running battles between police and protesters, despite GMP spending weeks planning an operation involving hundreds of officers, riot police and dog teams. We've not only taken the learning of what went well and what, what where improvements could be made for Manchester, I've been liaising with colleagues up and down the country since October uh, and indeed was in London a week last Friday to look at an event in London and I've taken learning from that and we've put it in place here and this is all around trying to uh, do everything we can to facilitate a peaceful protest and at the same time demonstrate that we, want, we will be visible, that we want to give reassurance to our communities uh, and that we've got their interests at heart as well. Now though there are fears of similar trouble in Bolton as preparations are made for a similar protest on Saturday. Already the council's written to parents of school children warning them it would be unwise to venture into the town centre at the weekend. Pubs have also decided to stay closed or restrict their opening hours to avoid any of the worst violence. Yeah, we realise that people will have concerns. Local businesses have had concerns. We've sought to reassure them about how thorough our planning is. Uh, we have said to people that Bolton is open for business on Saturday, but clearly people need to be aware that there's a demonstration that's going on and clearly there'll be a fairly significant police presence, but people should feel able to come around their local businesses. Already preparations are being made for Saturday's huge protest here in Bolton Town Centre. Barriers are being put up around the town hall steps. A barricade will split Victoria Square in two, separating the EDL and UAF protesters. And fencing will be put up around the war memorial and shops in this square to avoid any members of the public being hurt if violent clashes do kick off. If we have the numbers, then I think we will have safety. I don't think the EDL, if they're outnumbered, will attack us. And also we're expecting a large police presence. We've been told that there's uh, police leave has been cancelled throughout the North West. So I think, yes, we can have a peaceful demonstration. We're going to have it well organised. Our aim is it for it to be peaceful. Our aim is for it to be noisy but peaceful. Say no to the EDL. Conservative estimates suggest 3,000 protesters in total will be in the town centre, but the UAF already predict over twice as many will be involved. And despite them insisting their demonstrations will be peaceful, it seems the planned protest is already causing conflict. I was born in this country. I was born in this country. I've got birth certificate. Michael Billington, Channel M Today.